hello guys welcome back previously we got ourselves up to this point and in this tutorial we are going to learn a whole lot of them but i've grouped them into three so that we can focus on a particular thing so without further ado let's get started i've list them the first thing we are going to learn is how to remove this um how to remove a uh, field label i think i should go to notes from here or i should go to notes okay so as you can see the label over here it says notes from here it also says notes from here it says notes. so we want to remove these labels okay and um, so let this guy be our mother okay so we want to remove the labels and from here you can see the label so to remove them you just select the list page we are working on move down here to inline display label and choose it to none preview it so as you can see the labeling is off that is the first thing we are going to learn so and we have learned how to do that moving down to the second one which says um, create CSS colors color plates so to do that um, is it's very easy it's very easy you don't have to worry yourself about it I'm going to just show you in a GIF let's come over here and on our list you remember that we when we are adding something the background colors we make them primary all right so when we come to our custom css and we click dot primary and we want to start the primary we want to say the primary back background to be rgba rgb sure and we want the rgb 56 um 112 255 all right and we preview it and henceforth nothing is happening even though we have created that CSS class okay just like this is the way to create the class whether is working whether you are seeing the effect or not we have created it but I've added the colors to be white or I can mute it for now let me let me let me show you that is actually working when we come here on our list page and over here we said grid wrapper class where we typed the note holder we can type something like primary primary like that and we preview it so you can see it's all blue colors because that is the color we chose here and we can make the test color to be white like this and we preview it as you can see the colors of the test are white and um, we can we can go further to enhance this thing and uh preview it like this as you can see it's, it's a bit brighter what if we enhance this guy as well by just making it 78 and uh, let's see what we get is is a bit kind of mauve or indigo yeah kind of movie so we can go further and enhance this thing to 130 and preview it so it's kind just keep becoming more brighter and brighter and brighter all right so what if we want to enhance our note font size we say font size is instead of becoming default we make it 14 pixels just like that and um, we can preview it um, nothing change wonderful font size 14 pixels we can make it 16 pixels okay and preview it okay it has changed a bit Stands like 16 is so big. Let's make it 15. All right Okay, preview it. All right, so I think at this point is okay So that is how to create colors. We can go further and add more colors and colors. We can call another color and copy or this paste it and call this one success 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 and this success um, give this guy 130 and give this guy 255 255 the color is also white and we'll come down here make it success success preview it as you can see is very light green of which we don't want that um what we can do what we can do what we can do is um is to reduce this guy by just typing one two twenty and this guy to reduce it by saying hundred let's see what we get oh, okay it's getting a bit dark so that is how to create the color code but I'm going to 
I'm going to just do it faster in order to save time, alright? Because that is actually the, not our major aim. Our aim is to make a beautiful, I'm sorry for this. Our aim is to make a beautiful um, web application while we are learning how PHP adjusts work. So another thing here is add 141 and this one should be something like 30. 38 is okay preview it at this point okay we get this nice green colors so we have gotten about two colors which is the blue color and um, the blue colored and uh, and the and the green so we want to add another one this one is success this one we can call it a uh, copy V we can call it yellow or yeah yellow and our yellow color we want our yellow color to be something you know something popping kind of 255 255 175 and uh, 59 like this and when you have a yellow color and you have white test on it is a bit shabby so I'm going to make it black and come down here just type yellow we are going to type yellow like that and we preview it so we got that yellow color and is 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 beautiful if you ask me if you ask me I would say is is beautiful it's not that bad it's beautiful so the next thing again we the next color plate I want to add here is um is this something like indigo something like indigo like this you know we've got yellow we've we've got green we've got green, uh, blue and um, let's get red inspect this thing let's get the red color of that let's get the red color inspect it what is the color what is the color what is the color i can't get the color why inspect this particular field i'm not getting the color of that thing so there is no need let's do it on our own so i'm going to call this instead of calling it yellow i'm going to say um i'm going to paste this and call it warning or danger so danger and that danger color we are going to give it uh i don't know the color to give this danger but whatever it is let's give it 266 let's give it 255 because remember that i'll stand for red so we've given this red and we reduce the rest of it uh, 96 and uh this one should be 55 let's see what we get the color should be white here yeah. the color should be white then we move down here give this guy danger danger and we preview all right it's not bad but the next thing again we want to do is that we want to remove the border width okay we want to make the border width to be zero pixel zero pixel so that the colors will stand out all right is is now zero pixels so that is it um i think we've gotten somewhere now so we've created our color plate the next thing again we want to learn we've created our css color plates now the next thing again we want to know is how to make our card to pick unique make card pick unique colors okay um we we shouldn't be the one to be typing red green this this you know the application should be able to pick that by themselves automatically and to have that thing working instead of typing danger here or typing primary here we can just pick the value we have in our background okay to pick that value we just type php echo data and the data we close it and the data we want to echo is the background data all right if you like you don't have to type all this php echo thing just type a call sign so this is the code that is working and when you preview it so so far all our notes has that um, they have that primary 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 if you remember we set the default value to primary so if we change the default value and we make it yellow like this and we preview it and we add something and we say new uh, new notes with yellow color with yellow color and we submit this then look at the yellow color has come and if we change it to danger danger 
and we preview it and add another note and say new note new note with danger color and we submit this now as you can see the danger color is there what if we change it to um, success and we preview and add a new note and say success I don't I don't have time to type much so as you can see that the colors are now picking okay so the next thing we are going to do is how we can allow our users when they want to add a note they can decide the colors they want to add um, they don't need to come to PHP right coming over here and type in success yellow stuff so we give them the options to select the colors they want just like when you come over here when you come over here want to add a note it gives you those options all right so we were able to give them the options to select it so um, at this point I would like you to say thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next video